This is Ben Golby reporting for the Birmingham Post and Mail from outside Jaguar Land Rover's plant in Castle Bromwich, Birmingham. Today, workers were given more bad news as JLR's owners, Tata Motors, announced that they would be closing either this branch behind me or the branch in Solihull over the next decade. Unions are particularly angry after cutting a deal with bosses last year to preserve jobs. They've come up with a, a business plan, not for the first time, to turn around the fortunes of Jaguar Land Rover. This is the same management team that came up with one um, five years ago when they closed Browns Lane and said they were going to grow the business. Here we are five years later on. They're coming out with a similar plan to shut a plant and grow the business, and we have no faith in them. So far, all they've demonstrated is that they want to close a plant, they want to attack our members' pension scheme, and they want to say to any future employees, you'll work at 20% less than the current employees. That's just an attack on our members' terms, conditions and pensions. It's wholly unacceptable. They haven't demonstrated how they're going to fund their so-called plan to grow the business and we believe that that's actually putting the future employment of all Jaguar Land Rover people into more jeopardy. Strong views there from union bosses who feel that workers have been let down by their management. However, bosses here at JLR tell us that there will be no compulsory redundancies and that these measures are necessary to help the company compete in a global marketplace. There will be more on this story in today's Birmingham Mail and Birmingham Post.